Gavin, thank you for talking to Frank Warren Dot TV. A world title fight. What was it like when you got that call? Oh, it was amazing. I was letting bad ends for me at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> <laughs> you saying, guess what, guess what, I don't know, what do you want? <laughs> you said, I'm a guess, I said, I don't know, and you're a boxer for world title, and I, was, oh, I couldn't sleep then for a few hours thinking about it. You've been like it every night since, no, I can't wait, I know it's been delayed a few times now. You know, I was supposed to box him last Saturday, but now that was eight weeks later, so, you know, I'm top, top shit, you know, I've been training like that, we went away tra training at Lee. It was great, I had a great sparring, you know, it was all I wanted, to be honest. This is the fight I needed to get me motivated, like I've been saying for a while, now I need a big fight. I know they pull out uh, the trumps and they've got me the big fight. I was going to say, I know the last few times I've interv interviewed you after your fights, you've just felt like it hasn't been a big enough stage for you to really get you motiv motivated. You're not going to get any bigger than this, are you? No, you know, I, I struggled to get motivated for the other fights. You know, it was, like I always said before, there's no disrespect with the journey, man. You know, I could beat them without training. To survive another four-rounder, six-rounder, training hard in the gym, it was just a bit disheartening, to be honest. Now they've got this, I've been in the gym every day, I've now one day off, been training. We were in it losing three times a day. So this is why I need it, and I can't wait. How confident are you that on the night you're going to be able to step up into, into that sort of class? Well, you know, I've always been a top boy. I haven't lost a fight since I was 15. I was, well, that's uh, 12 years, you know. So I'm confident of anything. I think I'll beat anyone. All for my professional career, I've hardly lost any rounds, you know. I know they've been easy fights, but I've won most of the rounds. You know, I just can't wait to get in and have a night with him. You know, I watched his last fight he was against... I keep, I keep forgetting who's Fox, I know it's that guy who come forward, he didn't like the pressure and that's my style, the pressure fight, come forward, you know. I was going to ask you about Styles, I mean he is a slick boxer and he likes to move and uh, sometimes when people do pressure him, he does sometimes come and get himself into a bit of trouble, so I guess that's going to be the game plan for you to stick to your style and come forward. I mean he don't like people coming on to him, he just, he seems to lose all his art and his, he seems to lose his concentration to be honest, so you know that's the only thing I can do is come forward. You love my head into his chest and I'll be whacking away with the punches. You're a man that I know, Enzo Calzaghi, your trainer, your coach, always has to push and motivate and nag and get out of bed. I guess you've been knocking on his door the last few weeks, haven't you? No, oh, sure, I've, I've seen him every day, you know. <laughs> it's hard, hard enough of him now. <laughs> but, you know, it's, that's what I said. It's just me. I've never denied it. I've always had a problem getting motivated for the fights. So, years ago, I was supposed to be boxing with a title, like five years ago, the WBO. I've just been hanging on, hanging on, but now, now it's here, I've been knocking on his door. Thanks, Gavin. So, cheers. Thanks a lot.